Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Morning Prayers, and this is March 19th, and it is the third Sunday of Lent, and it is the Sunday of the Holy Cross. So, everybody, get ready to bear your own cross, I guess. Well, let's read today's Troparium. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Grant victories to the Orthodox Christians over their adversaries, and by virtue of your cross, preserve your habitation. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, let's say good morning to uh, Robin and Christina. There they are. Good morning. Good and why don't you show morning. everybody an example of your candle work? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's what I have in mind for Easter for Ooh. little kids. <laughs> now, you've got to paint that boy. up. You're going to paint that up? You Yes, this is, yeah, I'll make several of them, different different vibrant colors. Uh -huh. And this was just me playing with the, the, the shape a little bit. All righty. Right. And the other one that I have in mind uh, is just this one. That's simple. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, All that's right. what I do when my brain stops working. <laughs> Okay, well, we've all got to have, that's a, that's a good hobby, actually, so. Yeah. Well, let me see. Um, Robin, would you, you're going to church this morning? Absolutely. God bless, wonderful. So, <laughs> well, would you start us off in, in, with our scriptures this morning? Sure, we begin with Hebrews chapter 4, verses 14 through 16. And continue into chapter 5, 1 through 6. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but with was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. For every high priest taken from among men is appointed for men in things pertaining to God, that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins. He can have compassion on those who are ignorant and going astray, since he himself is also subject to weakness. Because of this, he is required as for the people, so also for himself, to offer sacrifices for sins. And no man takes this honor to himself, but he who is called by God, just as Aaron was. So also Christ did not glorify himself to become high priest, but it was he who said to him, but it was he who said to him, you are my son, today I have begotten you. As he also says in another place, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The name of the person And we move to Mark, oh, here it is, Mark 8, 34 through 38, and continues in chapter 9, verse 1. When he had called the people to himself with his disciples also, he said to them, whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and the Gospels will save it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world 
and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words and this adulterous and sinful generation, of him the Son of Man will also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. And he said to them, Assuredly, I say to you that there are some standing here who will not taste death till they see the kingdom of God present with power. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you so much. And I'll say good morning to Barb Anderson. Good morning, Barb. And Karen Kalanovich. Good morning, Steve and Sweet Prayer family. So good to be with all of you and feeling much better. Good. She was under the weather yesterday, but feeling better. Thank you, Lord. And uh, my daughter, Danelle, is coming to see me. Great joy. That's great. Safe travels for Danelle, Lord, and family. Amen. And over here, Jonathan Nichols. Good morning, Steve, Robin, and everyone. Joyce Marie created me a clean heart, O oh God. Amen. Eleone Chenera down there in Louisville. Christ is in our midst. He is and forever yeah. shall be. Amen. And she says, good morning to everyone. There's Rob King over in Virginia. Good morning, all. Praying we have a peaceful and blessed week. Prayers for everyone's health. Amen. Violetta, good morning, Steve and everyone. And Earl and Vicki are here from Nashville. Juliette Sabunia from Boston, Massachusetts. And uh, Joe Barbera, good morning, Joe. And Muratane from Dublin, Ireland, good morning, O oh Lord my God, I take refuge in you. Save and deliver me from all who pursue me. Amen. Now I just want to take one more little look over here. Okay. Well, Christina, would you lead us in prayer this morning? Yes, of course. But we do have a meditation. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay. From St. Gregory Palamas. Do not worship only the Christ of the Do not worship only the Christ of the Lord, but also the image of his cross, because it is a sign of the victory of Christ over the devil and over the whole force of the forces. That's why they tremble and flee when they see him portrayed. Amen. Wow. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, the treasury of good things and giver of life. Come and abide in us, and cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Having arisen from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one, and sing to thee, O mighty one, the angelic hymn. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos. Have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From bed and sleep thou hast raised me, O Lord. Enlighten my mind and my heart and open my lips, that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos have mercy on us. 
both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Suddenly the judge shall come and the deeds of each shall be revealed. But with fear let us cry out in the middle of the night, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Arising from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, because of thy great goodness and long suffering, thou wast not wrought with me, slothful and sinful as I am. Neither hast thou destroyed me in my transgressions, but in thy compassion, thou hast raised me up as I lay in despair, that at dawn I might sing the glories of thy majesty. Do thou now enlighten the eyes of mine understanding and open my mouth to meditate on thy words, to understand thy commandments, to do thy will, to him thee in heartfelt confession and to praise thine all holy name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became men, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We bless thee, O God, most high and Lord of mercies, whoever worketh great and mysterious deeds for us, glorious, wonderful, and numberless, who provides us with sleep as a rest from our infirmities and as a repose for our bodies tired by labor. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our transgressions, but in thy love toward mankind, Thou hast raised us up as we lay in despair, that we may glorify thy majesty. We entreat thine infinite goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise up our minds from the heavy sleep of indolence. Open our mouths and fill them with thy praise, that we may unceasingly sing and confess thee, who art God glorified in all and by all, the eternal Father, with thine only begotten Son, in thine all holy and good and life-giving spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. It is truly meet to bless thee, O Theotokos, who are ever blessed and all blameless, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without corruption didst bear God and the word and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. O Lord, grant me thy peace to greet all these days to bring. Grant me the grace to surrender myself completely to thy holy will. In every hour of this day, instruct and guide me in all things. Whatever tidings I may receive in this day, teach me to accept tranquilly. In the firm belief that thy holy will governs all. Govern thou my thoughts and feelings in all that I do and say. When unforeseen things occur, let me not forget that all is sent by thee. Teach me to behave sincerely and reasonably towards everyone, that I may bring confusion and sorrow to no one. 
Bestow on me, O Lord, strength to endure the fatigue of the day and to bear my part in its events. Guide thou my will. Teach me how to pray. Pray thou thyself within me. Amen. And now a blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be merciful to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Well, we've all got to get up and get going and go to church on this third Sunday of Lent. So, as usual, on Sundays we cut it short. But our prayer list is, don't worry, we're not neglecting that. Our prayer list is going on the altar this morning with Father Gregory, and he'll offer our prayers up to the Lord from the altar during the liturgy. So, we thank Father Gregory for that. So I want everybody to remember two things. <laughs> Christina, what's number one? Number one is that God loves us, and he really, really, really does. And Robin, what's number two? That we love each other. We love you. We really, really do. See, they both passed the test. They both <laughs> passed the test. And Maria Fenton's joined us. Good morning, Maria. Good morning. And let me see here. So, until uh, tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Time here in the U.S., uh, we'll have the Gospel Minute Live, a Sunday night edition. So until then, may God bless us all. Now remember, take up your cross. This is the Sunday of the Holy Cross. Amen. So we'll see you later. May God bless us all. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have Amen. a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Oh.